Uh, the Seattle Storm, man, what a season they have enjoyed. They finished the regular season with a, a record-breaking performance, and now they are the number one seed as they head into the WNBA playoffs. And this morning, joined by Brianna Stewart, who has uh, broken a, a team record as well and, and on pace for an MVP season. She's going to be the MVP. Come on, let's just let's just be real about it. Brianna, always a pleasure to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, so let, let's talk about uh, the record that you just broke, Lauren Jackson's team mark uh, for for single season scoring. What an amazing accomplishment! You you had to have admired her game growing up, right? Oh, for sure. I mean, when you think of Lauren Jackson, you think of one of the best players to ever play the game. So kind of to have an opportunity to follow in her footsteps a little bit for what she's done for for the Storm program and the franchise. Um, it's an honor to be able to break her record, um, and hopefully I'll be able to be as successful as she was. You have a, you have a very different game. I shouldn't say very different, but you have a bit of a different game yep. than, than Lauren did. Right. Can, can you explain the difference and what maybe you, you, you took from her or, or, or from some other players? Um, well, I think the similarities that I would say we would have is just a versatility. I think the way that we use our versatility is a little bit different. You know, she was a little bit... Um, she was physical. More physical than me, bigger than me. Um, so I'm just trying to copy that in any way I can, but it seems like we've been successful in, in getting the job done. Where did you get your shooting touch? Um, it's something that I really worked on, especially as I was growing up through high school and, and even into college. And, and the biggest thing for me was actually just asserting myself to shoot threes, you know, to mm -hmm. be outside the paint and that type of thing. And then once I got it down, uh, it became a pivotal part of my game. Sure. W what does it do for a big girl to be able to, to draw people outside and right. be able to shoot that? I think it does so much. I think the fact that you're able to, to step outside, to step beyond the three-point line, you know, players have to come out and guard you out there who don't normally, excuse me, don't normally want to. Um, and it just makes a matchup nightmare. So we, I, I think we, we kind of know that... Um, that you're going to be the MVP. Let's just go, let's just go out and say, I mean, why why do the formalities? Let's just let's just give her the trophy right. Do we have the trophy yet? We don't have it yet. Okay, so, but it, so what would it mean to you to be the WNBA MVP? To me, I think to to be MVP would just show all the hard work that I put in this off season throughout the year. Um, and obviously, you know, the team is most important. You know, we want to win a championship, but. Individually, you always have personal goals, and to be considered the best in the league, that's that means I'm on the right track. That means that I'm going somewhere. Yo, you, I would say so. And this team is going somewhere as well. Best record in the WNBA. We talked about this at the beginning of the season. You yeah, sat right here. We yeah. we talked about the talent on this team, and 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 you know how you can all come together. There were a couple of bumps in the road early on, but boy, when you guys found your stride, it was really something. What 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 is it about this team that makes it so special? Obviously, you're stocked with talent. Right. I think the fact that we have most of our core unit is back. Um, and we had some, some great additional pieces, Natasha Howard, Jordan Canada, Courtney Paris, and everybody knows their role. Everybody knows what's expected of them, and then every night we try and go out and put on, put on a show, especially when we're home at Key. You bet. And, and speaking of the key, I mean, what, fifth straight sellout yeah. for the start? Listen to that crowd, too. I mean, it's, it's got to be just amazing to be able to play in, such, in front of such fervent fans, right? Honestly, it's been, it's been great, like you said. I think that every time we get to come out, we know we're playing at key. We know we're going to have tremendous fan support. Um, personally, I'm excited to see how it's going to be for the playoffs, since this is the first time that we're hosting since I've been here. Um, and I just can't wait to see how loud it's going to be. All right, so um, number one seed in the playoffs. Open the, the playoffs Sunday at two. We don't know who, who you're going to play right. yet, but um, you know your thoughts heading into the final. You know, you know that you have a, mar a target on your back as the number one seed. Oh, for sure. I mean, anytime I've known this since UConn. Anytime you're number one, you always have the target on your back. Um, for us, I think this week is really important to kind of take care of our bodies, tweak some little things, and then see who we're going to play and then be ready. You know, other teams don't have this week break to kind of rejuvenate themselves and, and we're going to take full advantage of it. Yeah, take take care of yourself out in the smoky air yeah, too. Don't go out and it's dig like a, China. a trench or something. It's awful. You, well, you know how that's I like. know. Use Oof. your mask. Right? Use the mask. 918 right now. Uh, Brianna, thank you so much.